welcome back to another vlog as you can see we are in canada um, we got quite a bit of a storm here on the east coast of canada so i just finished digging out normally i wait for my partner to do that because i mean if you can't take advantage of having a partner that's going to shovel out the driveway what can you take advantage of but today, girl power rules. Um, I really had to get on the go and I I just kind of felt like I, I was going to tackle it. And in fact, um, it was a little bit more of a job than I anticipated, <laughs> but it's okay. I feel like I got, definitely got to work out. My arms are like jelly, but girl power, right? Yeah, here we are. <laughs> um, and it is really nice out now that I've kind of gotten dug out. So I'm actually outside the post office because I'm sending off a parcel. Um, it's going all the way to California and oh my gosh, I wish I could be sending myself to California with these earrings. But yeah, things with my shop have been going really well. Um, I've been solidly getting an order or two every week, which is really, really, um, really exciting. And I'm so thankful um, and I'm really hopeful that it's the beginning of really good things. So yeah, I got to go drop that off in the mail. <laughs> it was going to go out yesterday, but no. Uh, what else? Oh, a couple weeks ago, I sent off a parcel to a shop um, and I'm going to be having a few things in their shop to sell on consignment, which is so exciting. I just, ugh, that shop is amazing. I can't wait to visit in person. I can wait to visit in person, but I'm very excited um, for when it's a little bit safer. They're not too far away. They're in Fredericton, so it's just a couple hours drive. Um, so someday I'll be up there and I'm going to have to try really hard not to just uh, spend any money off the jewelry I sell there on other jewelry made by amazing artists um, at the shop but we'll see how it goes I'm really really excited um, and oh, hopefully yeah I'm hoping to reach out to a few more other stores to have some stuff locally for people which um, is just really nice uh, I definitely miss going to craft sales and stuff so it seems like kind of the nicest way to get it into the hands of some more local people um, what else was I gonna say oh last week I had a really exciting milestone I got my PO box for my business so my business officially has an address which is just oh my gosh I feel like such a grown-up I'm so excited about it um, I maybe cried a little bit at the UPS store which <laughs> hey to each their own um, but it's really exciting and so it does feel like a little bit of an extravagant purchase because my business is so small but I don't know I feel very strongly about internet security and I just really wanted to have uh, an address that was not my home address so I thought that there was good reasoning behind it even if it is a little out of my means but it's fine it's all going it's going good so what am I up to this week? Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of restocking, which um, you'll get to see a lot of little bits and bobs because I'm just going to be remaking a bunch of things. We'll see. I'm waiting on some jewelry parts that I'm going to go check in my mailbox and see if they're coming. So if those arrive, then I can make some new stuff, which will be exciting. But in the meantime, uh, I'm just going to do a couple of errands and then I thought I would do a little walk on a nice trail in my town uh, to show you how beautiful it is because um, we did get every single type of precipitation yesterday, um, but it's left a really nice ice on everything. So while it's not fun to dig yourself out of, it is very beautiful. So <laughs> I will show you what it's like to be on the east coast of Canada after an ice storm.
shovel, put it into a piece of Tupperware, and send it to school with me the next day. putting together a few little earrings um yeah i just want to say hi because i'm just about to run downtown and hopefully well i'm definitely going to deliver a pair of earrings but i might be doing a fun trade instead of getting paid traditionally but we'll see i don't want to give too much away oh you're so cute look at this guy this is Earl's favorite place to sit in the mornings. He'll sit right beside me while I'm drinking coffee or while I'm working. My little buddy. because I, I used to move a lot. Like I think one year I moved three times in one year and like another year I moved like twice in one year. So I think from that time in my life, I take a really long time to sort of like nest into a spot, um, which is kind of silly, but I, I, either that or like my parents instilled a deep fear of putting holes in the wall unnecessarily. So like, I think, yeah, maybe between my damage deposits and my parents, I just have like this anxiety about putting things on the wall. I've had all of these things for a long time and I don't know that some of them have ever gone on the wall. I just moved them from apartment to apartment without putting them up. So this is a big day for me. I'm glad you're here. I... I mean, it's really small stakes. I literally could just patch up a hole and start over again if I don't like where it is, but wish me luck, I guess.
see a good pun. Look at this. Hall of Frame. That's some gold right there. friends you made it to the end of the video thanks so much for watching uh earl and i are just here having some coffee earl says water but don't tell him because today he actually was trying to get some of my coffee so i think he's he's caught on and he just wants to be a little person you know i don't blame him he just hangs out with us all day so uh yeah thanks so much for watching i did think that I was going to get a little bit more accomplished this week than I did. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so cute. Um, yeah, I thought I was going to get a little bit more accomplished this week than I did, but I don't know. This time of year is so hard, so I'm not being too hard on myself. And I know that all of my friends are hitting a wall, so I think it's a pretty universal feeling. So if you're also kind of feeling like that, you know, don't, don't measure your productivity against anybody else's. We're all just getting through the pandemic. So thanks so much for watching. Um, I do have some good ideas for a couple of little adventures for next time. So feel free to stick around and subscribe if you want. Uh, if you leave me a little comment, it would make my day, but yeah, no, just thank you so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out with Earl and I, and I guess we'll see you next time.
you hate this?